Well, this is something I've wanted to do. Uh, hi, it's Kaz. Uh, in my living room, my model train, sitting in a chair after doing some extensive setup to get that camera and that light and everything working. And I end up with a smudge on my glasses after I start the video. After I start recording. Uh, this is, what is it today? What is today? The February the 23rd? Is it the 23rd? Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, it's like it's the 23rd. Anyways. Um, or it's the 22nd. I don't know. It's it's the end of February. Almost the end of February. And uh, I've wanted to do a vlog for a little while. I've been mean, wanting to do more vlog videos just to talk about the, the, the stuff that's going on in my life. Uh, the cool things, the weird things, the bad things. Um, but... I kind of got really swamped with some stuff through January, uh, through the holidays and everything. Uh, you may have seen I post on Reddit and I post on some of my different Facebook groups. And if you're following me on Twitch, you know that I've been live streaming usually Tuesday afternoons when I work on my model railroad here. Uh, and I've been I, I would I normally stream every <coughs> I usually stream you know four nights a week. I haven't at all through all of February, uh, and I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna get to why here in a, in a minute. So for this vlog, I kind of want to talk about some of the cool things that have gone on since my last vlog. If you if you haven't if you don't watch me on uh, follow me on Twitch uh, or on the Facebook uh, gaming page that I made, links in description. So first, first off, you know, got a lot of work done on the model railroad uh, over the last couple of months since I started it back in October. A lot of on and off work. I got a good portion of the track done on the west module here. As as you may recall, this layout is built in three sections. I have the west section, the east yard, and the middle section. Uh, one of the things that I did also, I wasn't happy with how this grade right here was turning out, so I actually lowered everything, uh, the main sections, by about an inch and a half. I still have to do a little bit of lowering on the east section. I didn't get it quite low enough, but that's a project for another day. I'm obviously not working on it right now. And the middle section I haven't touched at all. Uh, I, I have to, I, mean, I need to recut this, uh, this wood here if it's... If it's in the shot, I don't know if it's in the shot or not. But if you're, you know, if you, again, if you haven't following me along on Twitch and stuff, I do have the track laid at least from this corner all the way up to here. I've got all the track for the branch line laid, with the exception of the very end. I have to redo the section for the bridge, and it's actually wired up. Uh, mostly, I still have to wire up the branch line. The feeder wires are there. I just have to actually you know, connect them to the bus line. But they're going to be on their own separate bus line because the branch line I want to have on its own power shield, which I don't have because I don't have a power up command station, yada, 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 a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to worry about right now because I have way bigger things to worry about right now, and we'll get to those. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the progress I've been making on the model railroad. One of the other projects that I've wanted to work on for a long time, I'm talking years, is I've wanted to do some cosplay. And if, if you're unfamiliar with that, that's that's dressing up as your favorite video game or TV show or movie character. And just going out and being a, you know, a, an iteration of that character. Now I know you'll sit there, you know, some of you may be watching this and be like, but Kaz, don't you LARP? Yeah, I, I do, I LARP. I dress up as a Viking and I go out and I fight people. Um, or of a call, depending on the game. And the difference there is that's my own original character for that game. That's not really cosplaying. It's it's role playing. It's it's live action D and D. But I've always wanted to, you know, ever since like Halo Three came out, I just was absolutely you know enthralled with the idea of having you know Halo armor. I mean, anyone who's played Halo wants Halo armor. If you sit there and say, no, I play Halo and I don't want it, you're lying, and you know it. <laughs> Anyways, I actually really, really like ODST armor. And my friend, one of my friends, has a really large 3D printer, 
and I paid for the filament, but we 3D printed myself, or we 3D printed me a uh, an ODST helmet. It has still got a lot of work to do. It was supposed to be one solid print. Unfortunately, the printer broke halfway through, and so we ended up with the top piece and the bottom piece. I got some work to do to get it to line up, so all these lines. So yeah, it's on here. This top piece is on there. It's just held on with a few drops of tacky glue. So if you look at it, like, ah, it doesn't line up. It's all crooked. Yeah. It's just, I put it there because I wanted to, to start test fitting some internal stuff. I've got some foam pad already in there. Again, this is just temporary. That foam pad is just press fit in there. And then, nope. I used a little bit of double-sided tape to mount a nine volt battery and I had a little fan mounted in there, but this is like, this is super awesome. I'm gonna be posting some pictures of this once it's, once I get, once we get this top piece lined up and sitting properly and we get it, I got a Bondo in the top and I gotta to sand it a little more, but I'm gonna start posting some pictures on um, a couple different social media places. Again, links in the description below. Uh, yeah, I'm super thrilled about this. Next, we're going to start working on the chest piece, but again, I have bigger things to worry about right now. And so, uh, and just, just because I know someone's going to be like, well, why didn't you put it on? Bunk. Uh, I'm so excited about that. It's, 3D printing stuff is really, really cool, and so this is just... <laughs> uh, but again, I got bigger things to worry about at the moment. So that's the cool stuff that's been going on. Uh, the model railroad's going pretty good. 3D printing some ODST armor. The chest piece is the next, and that's going to be a hybrid. It's going to be made out of uh, uh, EVA foam with some 3D printed elements. So like there's a piece that goes right across here. That's going to be 3D printed. But like the whole back piece and the whole front are going to be EVA foam with like a 3D printed piece that's a, to, the details on the back. Um, that's a project that, that my friend and I need to you know, sit down and discuss on what, what we need to want we need and want to do next. But again, I've kind of put that on the side because I have some bigger things that I'm working on that I have to not that I'm working on that I have to worry about and stress about that I'm gonna to get to here now. So I gotta tell you a little story. Uh, there will not be a too long didn't read. If you want to know what's going on, sit down, pour yourself a drink because we're going to go for a little bit of a ride. And I sit there and say this, knowing full well that I'm actually going to just give the short and dirty version of what's been going on. And I feel like I need to kind of vent this out, and that's part of what this vlog is for. Uh, but as you might have known, might know, I have two roommates. Those two roommates are, were, married. And... Yeah, I've been living with them for three, three or four years now. And I'm not going to get into all the details of how I got, you know, how I started living with them and everything. But uh, last summer, husband comes to a little gaming group that he got together every, every Sunday. And he says, my relationship is in danger. I got to work on making, you know, being, I got to work on fixing it, you know. He basically told us that he was, you know, his relationship was falling apart. And he was making some steps to better himself, to better the relationship. And from any outside viewer, even to myself, and I live with them, things were going pretty okay. Until they weren't. Uh, December, or it was probably around November, December. It was actually, you know, it was probably in December where I was told by the wife that things were starting, that things weren't going well, that they were not improving. And then come the end of January, middle of January, actually, I was told that things were beyond repair and that she was, she was done. She was ready to leave. And part of what it was is my, her husband, he decided that he was too emotionally drained from his job. He only has ever had, a, the entire time I've known him, he's only had a job for about a year and a half, if that, uh, maybe a, a full year. 
but he was too tired of working his job and that he was going to quit. You know, on January 31st was going to be his last day. And the original plan, what we were told, was he was going to quit on January 31st. He was going to spend a couple weeks here. And then he had a ride that was going to take him to his parents' house in Utah. And he was going to stay up there for a couple of months, get a job, and help cover our, his portion of the rent in this apartment since his wife and I cannot afford this apartment by ourselves. And so, ugh, I'm just going to over a little bit. And so, ugh, I lost my train of thought here. <laughs> so, he tells us that he's quitting his job, and we're like, okay. It's the Sunday before his last day. Because um, his last day was a Friday. And this is the last time that I actually live streamed. I was, I was streaming, playing some games. Having a, a okay, I was. I came home from. I was having a real. I was in a really good place. I had a really great day. Came home, and the wife goes, "Yeah, um, we're gonna just do an early termination on our lease. You're gonna have to find a new place to live." And I'm like, "Oh, okay. Thank you for talking to me about this. Thank you for letting me know that this was coming. You know, now instead of later. I mean, well, let me know it's coming, but." You give me more time, so that way I know that I have some place to go, so I'm not just out on the side of the street with all my and, and nowhere to put it. Or you know, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And I was distraught so much that I just couldn't stream anymore. I, I, I was like, guys, I'm not feeling streaming. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it a night. And I haven't streamed since then. I just have not had the emotional energy to get back into it. Even this is like, mm, I need a day of rest still. Uh, but, so she tells me that, and then I'm like, okay, whatever, no big deal. And then, Friday the 31st comes around, and I'm at work, you know, doing my thing, putting parts away, pulling stuff, doing, doing my stuff, and I get a text message from the wife. She says, Taking the dog, taking the cat, packed all my stuff. I'm gone already. Uh, is getting ser husband is getting served papers uh, this week. He's gone. He's I'm gone until he's gone. I'm not coming back into the apartment. And she hasn't actually come back at all since then. So I've basically got the place to myself till the end of March. Because March 31st is my last day here. Yay! I'll get to that little tidbit here in a minute. And I just realized, I finally down, downloaded some video editing software, so I'm actually going to be blurting some things out. So if you notice that there's some things blurted out, it's because I downloaded video editing software, and I'm going to be blurting out things. I'm also trying really hard not to swear and use their names. Anyways, so January 31st comes around. I come, I come home, and husband is just like, what do I do? And I just, I'm sitting there drinking a beer, like, dude, you screwed up. You messed up. Like, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> you had this coming. Well, he didn't have this coming. He just, he did a lot of things that he could have done differently and done a lot of things better. And he didn't. And he did, he did bring it upon himself. Um, I'm trying really hard not to be, like, super critical and be negative towards him about it, but I do recognize that he brought this upon himself. And it, it has a ripple effect because, as I said earlier, his wife and I can't afford this apartment by ourselves. I mean, we could if she's already working three jobs, two, three jobs. If I got a second job, then yeah, we could afford this, but then there would be no point because we'd never be home. We'd always be out working. And I don't want to do that. She doesn't want to do that. It's not fair to us that he screwed up so bad that it just, you know, screws up our living situation. And before you sit there and panic, oh no, your stuff's going to be out on the side of the road, what are you going to do? I figured it out, I have a temporary solution, and I'm going to end this video with some very wishful planning, some thinking, some stuff that I'm going on to, but we're going to get to that when we get to that. Back to the story. So, 
that Saturday, I go to work, and then instead of coming back here, I go to my girlfriend's house and spend the night there. I'm just like, look, there's some really uncomfortable and negative vibes in my apartment right now. I don't want to be there right now. I want to be anywhere else. So I come back home. I go. So I go to. I stay. I stay Saturday night at her place. I go to work on Sunday. I come back on Sunday, and I walk in the door, and there's a strange woman just sitting right there in that chair. And what it was is his new girlfriend, the woman that he had been cheating on his wife with, just decided to come and live with us for a week, a week and a half. It's like, hey, cool. Not cool. <laughs> so it was really, really negative atmosphere here. I, I was coming home and I wasn't, one of the things, one of the things, you know, you, you go to work, you go to school, whatever it is you do when you're not at home and it emotionally, you know, it emotionally, and you just get tired. You get drained emotionally, mentally, energy wise. And you just want to come home, relax, drink a soda, eat some chips and play some video games. Well, I was coming home into an environment where I wasn't being able to do that. I wasn't feeling like I was recharging. I wasn't able to really relax. It, it felt like I didn't belong here even, and this is my home. <laughs> I felt like I didn't belong. And so, I was like, I'm not gonna stream, I'm not gonna do this stuff. I just, I, I, I just wasn't getting recharged. In fact, there was a point where I was at work and it was like almost the end of the day and I felt like I had just woken up. Like I just had a whole day off, even though I'd worked all day. I was sitting there like, I feel more recharged and refreshed and ready to, to, to face the challenges of the day right now at five o'clock as I'm clocking out to go home or 5.30, whatever, than I do waking up tomorrow morning going to work and getting ready and coming to work. Like it was emotionally draining just to sit in my room and play games. So I took a, I took a long break from streaming. I'm going to probably get back into that for at least a little bit of March. And then I'm going to have a completely different streaming schedule moving forward after March. Uh, so the, uh, then, then after roommate and new girlfriend, husband and or ex husband and, and new girlfriend finally left Utah to, a week and a half for him to pack up and getting back to what I was saying like his plan originally was to go to Utah not to be mean but I honestly don't think that he was planning on going to Utah at all I think his plan was to quit his job and then just sleep on the couch all day uh, until either his wife said he needed to get a job or his wife kicked him out when our lease is up that I honestly think that was his plan I don't think he had any plans or intentions to go to Utah um but he's there now, he's not here. And I had two whole days of the apartment to myself where I was like, oh, I can relax. I can recharge a little bit. And then my mom came into town. And you know, I told my mom it wasn't a good time, but she decided to come into town anyways. And it wasn't bad having her here. It just, again, it was stressful not being able to recharge, not being able to come home and just relax. It was come home and be tourist, come home and, you know, inter help entertain my mom, take her out to stuff. And it was just like, dude, I need a vacation now. Like even after my days off, I go back to work and I'm like, I do not feel like I have had any me time all of February. So after I took my mom to the airport, I've had the apartment to myself now since last Thursday. So almost a full week. It'll be a full week this uh, coming Thursday because it's Sunday as recording this. And I, I, I'm definitely feeling like I'm recharging more. Like I've got more. I feel like I feel like it's good. I really do like coming home and being able to kind of spread out a little more. Uh, it's nice having the apartment to myself and not having to worry about closing my door if I want to play video games because my roommates are trying to watch a movie or me trying to watch a movie and I can't because my roommates are playing video games or watching a movie. It's, it's, it's nice and quiet. I've actually been doing some cleaning around here. You know, 
this shelf behind me used to always have a bunch of junk on it that I absolutely hated. I packed that away because it has to be packed away anyways. I'm not putting it back up there. I'm going to move it and it's done. So now I take the thing that I put over here and talk about that. So moving forward, uh, March 31st is going to be our last day in this apartment. I'm probably going to take the 30th, like that Monday off and give myself a nice three day weekend. I've been slowly over the past two, three weeks, just boxing up some of my stuff and taking three or four boxes at a time to my girlfriend's house. Uh, what she's doing is she's making some room for me at her house. She has a three bedroom house and I'm not going to get into all the details, but she's basically giving me one of her rooms and sharing a room with her, with her girlfriend. And her brother has his own room. So it's going to be the four of us. I'm still going to be paying rent there. They got me a good fair deal uh, on rent. Which is nice because it's going to put more money in their pockets. Uh, they say it reduces rent for everybody. As far as I can tell. I hope. I hope it reduces rent for everybody. Um, but I'm going to be giving them rent. Because my rent is going to be going down while I'm there and I'm not going to have to pay utilities, I'm going to be saving a little bit of extra money. So I definitely have a place to go. It's also differently, it's also supposed to be a temporary thing, you know, just for a couple months until I can find a more permanent living space for myself. Uh, but I'm definitely, for cramp, uh, I'm definitely in the next time I'm over there, which would be this Tuesday. I want to talk to him a little bit, and I, I have a, 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 an idea and a plan. I have an idea that I have a couple ideas I want to run by them. Uh, the first one is I was thinking about it, and my girlfriend says, you know, j just rent, not even paying for our utilities, our electric, our gas, our water, uh, our internet. For this apartment, it's $1,200 a month. $1,200 and some odd dollars a month to live here. My girlfriend's whole living group, um, they pay less than that for everything, and they own their house. So part of my plan is, while I'm living with them, pay off my motorcycle, which I should have paid off by the end of this year, middle of next year. But if I'm saving money living with them, then that means I can throw a little bit of extra money at that. If I get my motorcycle paid off by December, then start working on getting my credit card paid down. I've got a credit card that's got a pretty high bill balance on it right now. I uh, was using it for rent and emergencies here. Obviously, I don't need to do that anymore, so I'm going to get that paid down. Uh, and by next summer, well, actually, by July, I'll probably be getting a pay raise at my work. I don't know how much it's going to be, but, you know, be getting a pay raise. And I figure by... Next July, if I'm saving money while living with my, my girlfriend, and if they let me stay there that long, by the end of 2021, by July, I should have a couple thousand dollars in my pocket. By the end of 2021, just buy my own house. <laughs> uh, that's idea one. Idea two is by the end of 2021, have enough money saved up that I can help my girlfriend and her her little family group uh, I, I maybe help them together all of us go in and buy a much larger house so we can all stay living together these are all just ideas that I've been thinking about the past couple of days I wake up in the morning I'm eat, eating breakfast and just kind of going I like having my own space but also I know I can't afford it <laughs> so even if I got even if I end up buying my own house I would get like a two or three bedroom house probably two bedroom house and, you know, having a couple of friends live there with me, you know, as, as roommates. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of things that i got to think about and work on. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be staying with my girlfriend and her family for a bit, her, her family for a bit. So I, I'm, I'm covered. I'm good. No, no need to worry there. Uh, it has definitely been a very stressful February. And that's why I haven't been live streaming or doing a whole lot outside of 
just sitting quietly playing video games at home. And yeah. I think it's gonna about wrap it up. I think the only other real thing that I want to talk about, and I am not canceling these plans. I'm not canceling them. Uh, I got my ticket to go to RTX. I've got my hotel room booked. So in July, I will be down in Austin, Texas for RTX. That'll be fun. Hopefully, I'll have the ODST cosplay done by then. But again, because I'm moving and everything, it's like, oh, no. Oh, no. i got to figure out a lot of things. But, uh, yeah. It sucks. It does. I, 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 I've had to move so many times in the past couple of years. I'm, I don't even, it's super easy to move stuff from my girlfriend's house because it's all still packed from the last time I moved. So, one of my big complaints right now is because my roommates made this apartment their apartment, like, everything around here is their stuff. And it's only since they left here that I've started kind of branching out, like, I brought my Xbox out here and hooked up to the living room TV when my mom was here. And I left it out here and I put a couple little things that she bought as decorations out here. And I've got to move them. I think they're melting. <laughs> they're like little rubber things and I think the sun's hitting them. Um, and I haven't been closing my door and I've been leaving some of my stuff out here a little more. Even though I'm cleaning up, like I'm cleaning up, but like I left some of my board games and stuff that normally I wouldn't even let out of my room. I've been leaving them on the, the dining room table just because... I'm going to worry about it. And that's kind of why I want to buy my own house. is because I want to have my own space. The entire time I've lived with them, it's been a lot of, their stuff is everywhere, and I have my little corner of the house. My little corner of the apartment. And that, I don't feel like that's fair for me. I mean, I know I don't pay much for rent. I pay my fair share. But I don't feel it's fair that I have to have everything I own in my room. And it wasn't until last summer that I finally almost beat the crap out of my roommate to build this. So, yeah, it, like I said, it sucks. It's a tough situation, but I'm getting through it. Uh, yeah. Like I said, link in the description to my Twitch channel and my uh, Facebook page that you can follow Fairwind Gaming on. I uh, post stuff there when I'm playing games. Till then, I'm Kaz. I'll catch you guys later.